Hello, hello, and welcome to today's Pilates for Unmotivated Days workout. This workout is perfect if you're having a low energy day, just not in the mood to work out, or you're on your period. This workout is free of equipment, so all you need is your beautiful, amazing self, a mat, and a comfy outfit, pajamas, pajama work. And that's about it. Before we get into this, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, turn your notifications on so you never miss another one of my workouts, and be sure to check out my online Pilates studio and app with so many more workouts, challenges, and weekly schedules called Sweaty Studio. Check out the caption, and I have all the details included. All right, let's waste no time. Meet me on your mat, let's get sweaty. All right, to start, come down to your knees, and then bring your hands slightly wider than your shoulders, relaxing your feet, relaxing your face. Take a big inhale through your nose, drop your belly down, gaze up to the sky. Feel a beautiful stretch in your core, opening your heart, opening your chest. Exhale, press out of your palms, rounding your spine, gazing towards your thighs, feeling a beautiful stretch in the back of your neck. And then carefully inhale, coming back to neutral spine, squeeze your core, and then inhale lots of love into your body, reach left arm up to the sky, opening your fingers nice and wide. And then on your exhale, release any doubts, limiting beliefs from your mind. Throw the left arm down, dropping left shoulder to mat, reaching right arm long overhead, beautiful stretch in your left shoulder blade. Deep breath in, telling yourself, I am so strong. I'm so proud of myself for being here. And then exhale any doubts, press yourself back up to all fours. Big inhale in through your nose, open right arm to the sky. Feeling a beautiful stretch across your chest here. Telling yourself an intention for being here today, doing this workout. Think of this like your why. And then exhale any doubts, limiting beliefs, start right arm down, dropping shoulder to mat. Reach left arm long overhead, anchor fingers to mat. Deep breath in, telling yourself I'm beautiful inside and out. And then exhale, pressing up to all fours, flex your feet, curl those toes under, and then press your hips back and up into a downward dog stretch. Keeping your core engaged here, soften your elbows, bend your left knee, hold. Bend your right knee, hold. Just gently pedaling out the back of your legs here, releasing tension here in your muscles, in your mind. And then carefully hold both heels down towards your mat and start to press yourself back and back. Getting those heels a little bit closer every time for five, for four, for three, two, and we hold this stretch, hold it. Deep breath in, telling yourself, I am so, so strong and powerful. And then exhale any mean thoughts, any negativity, any stress, let it go with your breath. And then when you're ready, my gorgeous queen, go ahead and just drop down to your knees. We're gonna start off with a very gentle booty section. So I want you to come down to your right forearm, box out your left arm, keep lots of weight shifted into that left hand here. We exhale, sitting our left leg straight back, hip is shut down towards the mat. Once we're here, we keep our core tight, we tuck our hips under, and then we start to take little circles with your left toe up and around up and around keeping this gentle today keeping it low impact and feel good just moving your body with love with intention here here for five we're gonna make the circle a little bit bigger in three in two and make it a little bit bigger up and around up and around gorgeous nice control here for five we're gonna reverse directions making it small again in three two and reverse it a little bit smaller up and around beautiful we're gonna make it big one more time in five four three two make it a little bit bigger up and around up and around gorgeous here for five we're gonna hold it up in three in two and we hold the circle open hip to the side keep that turn out in your leg big inhale tap your toe to the mat for two exhale lift your leg back to that nice diagonal inhale tap your toe down exhale lift up lots of power here beautiful just feeling the movement feeling the blood flowing in your body starting to feel some energy pick up if you're feeling that low energy today we're here for 10 we're gonna hold this up little circles at the top in just five in four three two and we hold this at the top hold 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 can you bring your leg a little bit straighter gorgeous little circles up and around up and around, gonna make this circle a little bit bigger, same direction in three, in two, 
A little bit bigger, same direction, up and around. Gorgeous, here for five, feeling that left side booty burning hurts you. And reverse it, make it small, gorgeous, for 10. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger in five, in four, in three, in two, a little bit bigger up and around. This is the last change here, and then we take a break, okay? Here for five, for four, for three, for two, and release, open those knees wide, press yourself back, Take the nice deep stretch in your body, breathing in, slowing down, feeling those hips release tension, lower back release tension. Then we exhale, drop our hips forward, coming into a nice cobra stretch, gazing up to the sky, feeling an arch in your back, relaxing those feet, relaxing shoulders out of ears. And then slowly lower down to your belly, flip over to your right side here. And then my favorite here, lay all the way down. Oh, you're gonna take a nap and then rest your head in your hand. All right, once we're here, we send our legs to 90 degrees, boxing out your left arm. So we're gonna keep lots of pressure in that left hand here so our weight stays over the right hip. Once we're here, we take an inhale through our nose, Reset our mind, reset our body. On our exhale, we slowly open your left knee into a nice fire hydrant, and then we inhale, shut back down. So exhale, really press your knee back like you're opening a door, and then we inhale, lower back down. Nice control here. We're gonna add on making it a little bit spicier in just 10 seconds. Four part combo coming up in five, in four, in three, in two, and we add this on. So we're gonna open your knee to the side, extend leg straight, bend to 90, shut this down. Open, exhale, kick extend straight, bend to 90, shut this down. So as you extend your leg, I want you to really squeeze your left inner thigh, activate it, and then control, close down. Beautiful, just those kicks next in five, in four, hold this open in three, two, hold your leg open, just kick, and bend, one count, we exhale, kick, inhale, bend a little bit faster here. Feeling good, tell yourself I am feeling good, I'm doing this to feel my best, here for five, holding legs straight in three, in two, hold your legs straight on your diagonal, keep the weight in that left palm, we inhale, open left leg up to the sky, a little flexibility moment, flex your foot at the top, and then exhale, shut this leg down to hover the mat, Point your toe, lift your leg up for two, flex your foot, exhale, shut this down. So focusing now on keeping the turnout in your left leg, your knee should be facing you. Beautiful, inner thigh working. Just 10 more seconds to go. Then we're gonna lay on our backs in five, in four, in three, in two, and release. Bend your knee to 90, make a fist with your left hand, Pilates punch out your hip, releasing tension from that side glute, and then go ahead, gently flip on over to lay on your back. Once we're here, just plant those feet hip width apart parallel, toes are facing forward, and then I want you to reach your arms up to the sky. Reach your fingertips as tall as you can, tucking those hips under, keeping your core engaged so you have no arch in your low back. Once we're here, we start to take a big exhale through our mouth, press your palms down, lifting right knee into chest. So big press crunch, right knee to chest. As you inhale, extend right leg, rest your head, arms overhead, okay? So a big exhale, press crunch, pull right knee to chest, and we inhale, lower extend. I know when I'm not feeling motivated like right now, the last thing I wanna do is a core series. So we're gonna keep this short and spicy, just to activate your core, build some strength so you can feel so proud of yourself for getting through this. In 10 seconds, we're gonna hold your knee to your nose for a little pulse in five, in four, in three, in two. On this next one, hold the knee to nose, we pulse crunch. Pulse crunch, use your breath, inhale, exhale. Here's 10, nine, eight, seven, almost there for six, for five, for four, three, two, and hold your pulse crunch, hands behind head, elbows wide. We exhale, twist, left elbow to right knee, and then inhale, back to center, extend the right leg straight. We exhale, pull crunch, twist, 
Inhale back to center. Here's 10. One more change on this side. A little pulse crunch in five, four, three, two, and we hold. Hold that crunch, pulse crunch it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release and everything long. Just take a moment, reach those arms overhead, shake out the legs, deep breath in, filling up your body with confidence, with feel good energy. Beautiful. And then exhale, imagine your breath washing your mind and body clean of any negative energy, any doubts, insecurities, stress, just let it go. When you're ready, we plant those feet again, reach your arms over shoulders, palms are facing forward. We inhale, reach tall with the fingertips, and then on our next exhale, we press your arms down, crunch, pull left knee to chest, and then inhale, like stand your legs straight, arms come overhead. Exhale, press it, crunch in, and then we inhale, extend, lower that head back down. Beautiful, guys, almost there. 10 more seconds. We hold this up for a little pulse crunch. In five, in four, in three, in two, and we hold, hold that press crunch, start to pulse it in. Pulling nose to knee, beautiful, for 10, nine, hold it up in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold the pulse, hold the crunch, hands behind head, we exhale, pull right elbow to left knee, inhale, extend that left leg out long, exhale, crunch, pull right elbow to left knee, inhale, lower, extend, gorgeous, one more change to go here, then we rest our head, we're going to hold it in for that crunch twist in five, four, three, two, and we hold elbow to knee, little pulse crunch, pulse crunch. Give me 10, nine, almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release and everything long. Bring those arms overhead, legs are straight. Shake out the legs, releasing tension here, breathing in, telling yourself I am a powerhouse showing up for myself today. And then exhale, release, anything holding you back, any doubts, let it go. All right, when you're ready, stay on your back and we're gonna just send those legs up to the ceiling. Legs are straight, hip width apart, parallel, arms go long by your side. So keep your toes pointed here. And our focus is to keep your lower back always pressing onto the mat. If it ever feels like it's gonna arch up, just don't lower your legs quite as low, okay? We start to slowly lower those legs onto a 45 degree angle, and then we exhale, open legs, up and around, meet at the top. Big juicy circles. Inhale, lower it down for two. Exhale, open up and around for two. Gorgeous. We're gonna switch directions in just 10 seconds. Final ab move coming up today. In five, in four, in three, in two, and reverse directions, lift up for two, open down and around, lift up for two, open down and around, final 10 seconds. We have one more section to go of class, then we're done. In five, in four, in three, in two, and a release and everything long, arms overhead, and then slowly just flip on over to your belly, okay. Little upper body series here, then we're out of this workout, okay? Finish it with me, I'm right there with you. Go ahead, walk your feet about hip width apart, and then I want you to go ahead and bring your forearms right below your elbows. So we're gonna press up into this little half cobra, feeling your lower back slightly engage. We squeeze our booty, squeeze our core, relax your face. Nice inhale here, reach nice and long with your toes like someone's pulling on your legs, making them straighter. Then we exhale, lift right leg up to hover off the mat, and we start to take little circles with your right leg, up and around, up and around. If you're feeling a little spicy right now, you can always bring those hands behind your lower back like this to make it a little bit harder, just working with your energy, hormones, and body today. And slowly reverse directions, other way, up and around, tennis ball size circles for five, for four, for three, 
for two, hold, hold, hold. Start to tap the mat with your right foot and then we lift up. Tap the mat with the right foot and lift up. Gorgeous, here for 10. Gonna switch feet next in five, four, three, two, and lower right foot to the mat. Lift left leg up, little circles up and around, up and around. Nice tennis ball size circles, avoid collapsing in the arms, keep this nice and proud. Here for three, here for two, and reverse the other way up and around. Gorgeous, one more change to go. In five, we hold it. In three, two, and hold. Tap them out with your toe, exhale lift. Tap them out with your toe, exhale lift, lowering this down in three, in two, last one here and lower all the way down one more change guys so we rest our upper body and lower body on the mat reach those arms long overhead we're gonna slowly exhale lift upper body and lower body off the mat sweeping arms back for two counts and then we inhale slowly lower reach your arms overhead as we lift up we turn your palms out Pressing away anything holding you back. Squeeze those arms together, feel your triceps engage. And then we inhale lower, palms go forward, reach your arms overhead. This is your final 15 seconds. Then we're gonna stretch this out in just 10. Telling yourself, I am so proud of myself for doing this workout and filling my cup. We're here for five. Nice control for three, for two, and slowly lower this down, my gorgeous queen. Open those knees wide, press it on back. Taking a child's pose, reach your hands to the left, stacking the right palm over left, anchoring down into the ground, feeling your right lat releasing tension. Deep breath in, telling yourself one compliment, something you love about you. And then we exhale, walk our hands to the right, Stack left palm over right palm, really anchor this down, feeling that left lat release tension in your body. And then slowly just exhale, coming back to center. Lift up, we have our second side of legs and then we're gonna stretch this out. So flip yourself around, go ahead, come down to your left forearm, box out your right arm, and then send your right leg straight back, hip is squared off to the mat, core is tight. We start to take a little tiny tennis ball size circle, with your right toe up and around, keeping lots of pressure in the right palm here. Relaxing our face. Beautiful, keep breathing. And then we're gonna slowly make this a little bit bigger up and around, same direction. Telling yourself, I'm confident in my strength. I can do this. Hype yourself up like a best friend. Beautiful, here for five. Reversing directions in three, in two, and reverse directions other way. A little small circles up and around. Keeping your booty nice and engaged. Try to take the arch out of your lower back. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger in five, in four, in three, in two, a little bit bigger up and around. Gorgeous, up and around. Nice control here, nice focus. We're here for five. Gonna hold this up in three, in two, and we hold this open. Open your hip to the side. Keep your weight shifted into the right palm. We inhale, tap your right toe to the mat. We exhale, power it up to the nice high diagonal. Inhale, tap to the mat, keep your core engaged. Exhale, lift up with nice slow control here. So as you exhale, imagine your breath washing your mind, clean up anything holding you back, any negativity, self-doubt, just let it go. Telling yourself, I am enough. We're here for five, gonna hold this up in three, in two, hold this up, little circles up and around, up and around. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger, same direction in five, Four, three, two, same direction, up and around. Gorgeous, up and around, staying nice and strong here. Focusing on your form over everything. I'm gonna reverse this in five, four, three, two, and reverse it, make it a little bit smaller, again, smaller, faster, up and around. One more change to go, a little bit bigger circles in five, in four, in three, in two, make a little bit bigger up and around. Gorgeous, up and around, make this your best form like someone's pulling on your toe, lengthening your leg nice and straight for five, for four, you got this, for three, for two, and release, oh my gosh. Open those knees wide, press this back, child's pose. Reaching long with your hands, sinking your hips back towards your heels, breathing in, 
Filling up your lungs with confidence, with love, positivity, exhaling doubts, let it go. When you're ready, go ahead, lay on your stomach, and then coming to that left side, we take a nice, nice relaxation, resting your head in your left hand. Hug those knees to your chest at a 90 degree angle. Box out your right hand into the mat. Big inhale in, reset your mind, reset your energy here. Exhale, fire hydrant, open right into the side, and then inhale, shut it back closed. So focusing on our side right glute here. Once again, imagine your leg is a door, opening it all the way, and then slowly controlling this back down. We're gonna add on four part combo coming up in five, in four, in three, two, add on, open your knee to the side, kick extend straight, bend to 90, inhale, shut this down. Exhale, press open, send your legs straight, bend to 90, shut this back down. Gorgeous, we have just those kicks coming up next. As you kick, you really squeeze your left inner thigh, giving yourself resistance for five, for four, for three, two, and we hold this open, just the kick out, bend it in. Kick this away, bend it in, beautiful. Try to keep your knee open, door open here. We're gonna hold your legs straight in five, in four, in three, in two, hold this straight, keep your toe pointed, lift your leg up for two, flex foot at the top, and shut this down, inner thighs, point your toe, lift up for two, flex your foot, and we shut this down, gorgeous. Really keeping lots of pressure in the right palm. We're here for 10. Almost there. Here for five. Here for four. Three. Two. And release. Go ahead, bring it in. Make a fist with the right hand. Pilates, punch out your hip, release that tension. When you're ready, my gorgeous queen, go ahead, push yourself on up. And then I want you to just send your left leg in a nice half straddle. Fold your right foot in. Bring your left forearm to the mat, side bend over, gazing underneath the right arm, feeling your lower back stretch out, releasing any tension from your mind, from your body. Gorgeous. And then slowly exhale, turn towards your leg, nose to knee, heart to thigh. Breathing in, telling yourself, I am worthy of all of my dreams. And then exhale, any stagnant energy, anything holding you back, Choose to release it with your breath. And then lift yourself up, send your right leg in a half straddle, fold your left foot in, right forearm goes down, side bend over to the right, gaze underneath your left arm, feeling your left lower back just really, really stretch out here. Try to keep that left knee pressing towards the mat for a deeper stretch. And then we exhale, turn towards your leg, nose to knee, heart to thigh, slowing down, feeling so much gratitude for your body's ability to move and groove and feel good. And then when you're ready, lift yourself up. Final stretch today. Send those legs straight in front of you, zip together. We circle our arms up and around, diving forward, reaching for your calves, ankles, or feet. So I want you to take a moment here to just slow this down. Focusing on your breath, breathing in for four counts, nice and slow breath. Becoming present wherever you are. And then we exhale for four counts, just releasing anything left inside that just does not belong inside of you. Release it, let it go. When you're ready, squeeze your feet three times, telling yourself, I love me. Feeling so, so much acceptance for your body, feeling so much love for yourself, no matter your energy level, where you are in your cycle, in your fitness journey, just feeling so much love and so much just joy for being able to be here today. When you're ready, lift yourself up, cross those ankles, give yourself a big hug, and just one more time reminding yourself, I'm here for me, I love me, and I'm proud of myself. Amazing, amazing job today. I hope you feel so good and so motivated. Let me know in one word how you're feeling in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications for more workouts like this. And lastly, make sure you check out my studio, Sweaty Studio, it's also an app, so I'll have that linked below. And other than that, keep shining, have the best day, stay sweaty, and I will see you next time. Bye, my gorgeous queen.